Hi guys. Can you believe it? Our tree is down. It's amazing. I know. Sorry if you can hear background noise. Uh, the people cutting the grass and everything are like right behind you, but this is the perfect time to film this because I cannot wait to try these leggings. Today's video is going to be all about Lululemon leggings. And this video is going to be filmed like over a couple days. And then I'm going to sit down and talk with you about what I think about them or kind of telling the truth about them because you guys seem to love those types of videos that I do. And this was a recommended video from one of my friends. Yeah, I didn't really want to do this because <laughs> these are like $100. That's crazy. And I know I spend money on certain things, but like leggings. We're gonna put them to the test and I'm gonna work out in them and tell you guys what I think. A couple days ago, I will overlay some B-roll. I tried on some stuff. The first thing, the tops don't really work for me. As you can kind of see in the clips, I couldn't really fit. I mean, I could squish the girls into a size eight, but it was just super, super tight, kind of uncomfortable. And you have to be comfortable when you're working out. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try a size 10. So I couldn't believe I was like trying on a size 10, but then when I put it on, the girls were like flapping all over the place and I didn't, I was like, it was too big. The tops really don't work for me there. I don't want a top that I can barely get on and off my body. It just doesn't feel so hot. So this is the one I always wear. I think it's from Target. Then I'm going to put on these leggings. These are the Align leggings. Sierra Furtado recommended them. She is a YouTuber. If you don't know who she is, she's like lifestyle and stuff. I don't know. I would be surprised if some of my viewers did not know who Sierra Furtado was. She did a What I Got for Christmas and she swore by the Align leggings. So since I'm not very keen into the workout gear and stuff and attire, I just went with her recommendation and I I got a pair of the black Align leggings. They have the Lululemon logo right there and they're just plain black. First impression, they're really, really stretchy and they're really soft. So I love the fact that they're soft. And when I tried them on in the store, they felt like airy is the best way I can put it. That sounds weird, but like they felt airy. Um, and these are size eight in the Align HR Pant 28 waist. They're size eight. I tried on a size six. The size six were okay. They did fit me, but these are just more comfortable since they're not as tight. And I guess, I don't know. I think it's all about what you're comfortable in. So I chose a size eight. Can't believe I'm size eight, but I've been a size eight for like a while now. So it doesn't really matter. I've always been a size six or four, but then, you know, when you're not fit and stuff, you know, you grow. I'm gonna put these on. Hopefully no one sees me because I don't feel like going to my room. Okay, so I got the leggings on. Oh my gosh, guys, these are so comfy. They're still comfortable. Just like yesterday when I tried them on. So this is what the leggings look like on me. They're really cute. Wonder if they make my butt look big and good. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But this is what they look like. And I swear, if any of these people power washing see me, they're gonna be like, what the heck is this girl doing? First overall impression, like I said before, they're very airy, a very thin layer that I'm wearing. It they don't feel heavy or restricting. I find that the purple pants that I normally wear in some of my workout videos, the ones that I got off of Amazon for 30 bucks, they like kind of constrict you. They're not my favorite in all honesty. These are awesome. But one thing that I did notice about them, they show every curve. So if you have some cellulite when you do like certain things with your legs, you can see it. So it almost like it bonds to your leg super tight, which is kind of weird. Overall, I really like how they make me look. I don't feel huge. So let's get on with the workout and then I'll give you my first impression. I wanna give them a couple chances. So I'm just going to do a quick 15 minute workout and then I will tell you guys what I think and then maybe either tomorrow or the next day I'll work out with them again just so I can give you a full on what I think about them after I work out. And yeah, so let's get on with the workout. Okay, so as you guys 
saw, I did the 15 minute workout. I find that that one's just such a powerful workout. And um, I did the arm workout, which is so hard for me. Like my arms, they've had muscle and everything, but like it's, I don't know, they just get weak so fast. Uh, my first impression working out in these things, good thing the seam is all good. Nothing, nothing crazy there. Just had to clip it. I don't know if I got a size too big. I don't think so because they're really comfortable and I don't want them too tight. But when I was doing the burpees, this started to like inch down like basically it would like be all the way down to here and I think they are supposed to be like high rise so I don't know if that's like my little fat roll here it's actually getting a lot smaller it doesn't roll down my other pair rolls so it'll like roll like this this doesn't roll at all which I am so happy about. I hate when stuff like rolls down my fat roll and then I feel bigger than I actually am. But this, it like moves down my body and then my underwear gets all like whopper jawed back there. So that's the only thing. So maybe I'm thinking that this part is too, too big maybe. So I don't know if that's my very first impression working out in these. Also, I wanted to add when you're doing the workouts, you can feel the air. As I said before, they're airy. So when you're doing the movements, you can feel like, I don't know, I'm lifting my leg up, but you can feel the air like kind of go through them. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, kind of think about pantyhose or tights, but this is like thicker material, but not thicker. I don't know. It's almost like it's two layers of, of tights, but comfortable tights, like silk tights. Not that I know what silk tights feel like, but they're really soft, but you can feel the air move through them. And I think that's why people like them. Overall out of 10, I give these probably a 9.58 because for my first time working out in them, because um, this part does like scoot a little down and I do have to do this sometimes and feel like Uncle Earl. On to the next clip, probably the next day when I try working out in these for the second time. I don't wanna make a judgment just on one exercise and one routine. The next day. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati. I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl But if you treat me right I will be the best girl in this whole world No, I'm not gonna bite I got my hands on your body So tell me, tell me what you want me to do I can be good or be naughty Okay, so this is my second time working out in these leggings. I just got done filming my week two update. Yeah, week two? Yeah, it's week two. And I kind of wanted to just wrap up what I think about these leggings and if they're worth it or not. This is really hard, but I would say no. They're a hundred dollars for like they're really comfortable, don't get me wrong. Like if I won $100 in the lottery and this is the way I wanna spend it, yeah, I think it would be worth it. But from a price point and everything like that, I don't see how these are better than my $10 leggings at H&M. I honestly think that they're great to work out in. They're very lightweight. They kind of roll down my upper fat roll, but that's my fault. I don't think it's the leggings fault. I really love the material. Like I said, it's very airy for the average person who doesn't work out a lot. I just don't think it's worth it. I feel like they're really good quality and everything, even though I had a run on this side, but <laughs> we will forget about that. Um, it's not running anymore. I just feel like they're just not really worth it from the price point. If I were going to pay for them, I think pushing it would be $60. But other than that, I wouldn't pay $100 for these. I'm not gonna be returning them, I already bought them. Um, I wanted to make this video and since I've been working out a lot more, I wanted to give them a shot. But geez, people, like $100. My H&M leggings that are $10 are so comfortable. Like I wear them to work. I wore them to work out on Wednesday. They're really comfortable. Are they worth it? I don't know. I just feel like that's really overly priced leggings that you can get 
so cheap other places. I like it good enough to not return it, but also I don't think someone should be spending a hundred dollars on them because I don't spend a lot of money on clothes in general. So I'm going to hand wash these. They can be machine washed and um, they suggest them to air dry, but I spent a lot of money on these. I want to hand wash them to make sure like nothing happens to them. I understand that they're rent in the places that they had their shops in. They're in really upscale areas. So that plays a role in the price, which I actually learned about luxury items. Um, their real estate and rent is very expensive. So they have to also put that on the price and then the brand name. So there's a lot of factors that go into making these leggings a hundred dollars, but overall, if you're an average person that works out maybe two, three times a week, maybe even four, get yourself like four pairs of leggings from H&M for $10, that's 40 bucks and you get four pairs of leggings. So you don't have to wear one pair multiple times a week. Uh, I just feel like that's my overall opinion about it. I'm being completely honest. I'm not trying to hate on the company because this is a great product. I'm just talking about the price point. So anyway, if you found this video at all helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.